Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Nest.js. Today we are going to learn implementing SSE in the Nest.js app. What is SSE? Before, those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. Server side, server sent events. Okay, SSE in the Nest.js app allows you to stream real-time data from the server to the client. Real-time. Nest.js has built-in support for the server sent events, making their implementation straightforward. To enable SSE, SSE, what we have to do? We have to just annotate the method handler with at the rate SSE decorator. That's it. This decorator simplifies the process of setting up the route to stream events to the client. Server sent events is a browser feature that enables servers to push real-time updates to the clients, usually browsers, over a single HTTP connection. It is designed one-way communication. Make sure that it is one-way communication, not a two-way, that server server sent to the client, not client sent to the server. Only one-way communication from the server to the clients and is built into the modern web browsers. How does SSE work? Connection. The client opens an HTTP connection to the server using the event source API. Streaming updates. The server sends continuous stream of data to the client in text event route stream format automatic reconnection if the connection is lost the browser automatically tries to reconnect without additional coding key features that is a real-time update one-way communication lightweight protocol and built-in browser okay and reconnects automatically when to use you need simple one-way real-time updates. In that case, you can use like notification, live scores, progress updates. You prefer simplicity, you don't want to deal with the WebSocket complexity. Uh, avoid SSE when you need two-way communication, like client to server and server to client. In such cases, you have to use with the WebSocket is a better choice for that. Okay, let's take a look of the example. So here we have the example. Let's copy this, create the project. Okay, let's open the terminal. I think we have a two terminal. Let's close this. Okay. So npm. So it will create a new nest project for me. Let's move to the next. Meanwhile, installing. Then we have to go with the generate the controller as a notifications. Nest.js uses decorator based approach to define the routes, add a controller to handle the SSC. done let's go to the ssc example okay here we have to paste our controller we have to create a controller that is created source notifications now we have to go with this and add the notification controller okay so this is our code let's use it Okay, copy this, open the code base. So here we have source notifications, notifications controller. We have this. Okay, controller notification is there, explode. Let's copy the full code. something went wrong what get is declared but never be used okay so let's let's remove this or require this also this also okay fine simulate the notification sent every two seconds okay for the browser and we have used the decorator ss events okay so here we are using this 
the rxjs okay and interval that is two seconds and we are mapping map the value and the send what we have to send the data with notification and increment the value every after every two seconds okay so this is the event that we have created right now we have to go with uh, we have to include into our uh, main module let's go to the app module and i think it's already added so whenever we create the, from the cmd it automatically adds right now we have to go with our html file which will do that part so this is our front end file okay let's create this and um, here we can make a new folder or let's go to the HTML or uh, in the PHP we will create a file open your terminal touch send notifications HTML. Okay, let's paste this code and let's run this first of all we go, go to run with our project npm run dev dev is not there npm run or npm start okay so it's ready to use let's open the browser with uh, let's run with this localhost slash php slash send what's the u name of the file rename okay connection error please check the server Okay, I'm checking this server. So there is a event is there. There is a notific localhost 3000. I think same origin policy. This allow reading from this. I think there is a course issue for this one. I think we have to go with the course complete course one. Give me one minute. So here you can see that the real time updates. Is coming on here you can see okay notification 7 notification 8 9 after every two seconds here you can see that notifications okay so this is how you can use that one on just you have to enable the course like this origin you have to pass which origin you want to go with that one methods allow headers and the credentials you have to pass into a main.ts file for the nasjs okay so this is how you can do that one right and here you can see the notifications coming like this okay every two seconds okay so this is how you can do implement the ssc any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day